So we have four episodes in Doom. Uh, the ones you're going to really watch out for in the speedrun is episode one, Knee Deep in the Dead, and episode four, Thy Flesh Consumed. Uh, there's some difficult tricks to do on episode two with a single rocket jump and the void glide. But as far as just pure difficulty and learning curve, Knee Deep in the Dead and episode four are going to be your two toughest. Uh, we're going to be playing on the Ultra Violence difficulty. It's the most common uh, difficulty you'll see speedrun in Doom. On speedrun.com, there is like a category for I'm too young to die. If you want to specifically just work on movement, um, you can do that one. But I, I think Ultra Violence is just, it's more interesting. Because you have to contend with the opponents that are the enemies. And there's one important change in I'm Too Young to Die. You take 50% of the damage that you would on Hey Not Too Rough or Hurt Me Plenty or Ultra Violence or Nightmare. And this is important in regards to doing a rocket jump. Because by taking less damage, you get less speed when you're trying to jump across uh, any sort of gap. So a gap that would have been doable with a rocket jump and ultra violence might not be doable and I'm too young to die. So there's the potential there that you'll have to find another route, depending on the circumstances. So map one hangar is fairly simple. Um, your quickest route is just going to be to go over here and go straight to the exit. Uh, but we won't be using that for the speedrunning purposes unless you were doing an IL and just trying to get there as quick as possible because we want to pick up the blue armor that's in the secret over here. So just starting the map, uh, you're going to go as quick as you can using... I use a stray 50 in here and then I'll like change that over to a stray 40. Hit the switch. Go back and you're going to get your blue armor. So your blue armor is going to mitigate damage by 50% to your health. And this is extremely important to have on Toxin Refinery. Episode 1, Map 3. Because you have to fight a literal legion of shotgunners. Uh, we go through this area. There's going to be two shotgunners in this hallway. And you're going to be killing the first one up here just using pistol shots. And because of the RNG inherent in your weapons and also the damage you take from enemies this shotgunner can take anywhere between two and six shots which is frustrating i do have to reset if it takes five or six generally but you just take them out you're going to slide by the next shotgunner and when you're opening doors because doom has a bit of acceleration that you can get. So I don't want to be just like hanging on the door and then running. So we're going to let this close again. Is I want to be strafing to the door, backing up, and then going. Because that's going to save me like a few... It's going to save me a few frames every time. Hangar is a simple map. You just go straight to the exit. Uh, once we get to nuclear plant, we're going to go straight for the red key. Uh, there is a secret you can open up here. There's a backpack and everything, but it's uh, nothing we really need because we're going to get backpacks uh, later throughout episode one. That'll give us the number of rockets we want for the two barons on episode one, map eight. As you're opening this door, you want to... Uh, that's the one problem with no monsters. Whatever, we're going to use IDKFA. <laughs> Just so I have the weapons on me. But I am going to have a shotgun by this point. And there's going to be a zombie man right by this post. And I want to wake him up so that he can potentially open this door as I'm backtracking from the red key. So if we're going from the start again, we're going to go, strafe, open that and shoot. Run all the way up, get your red key. Uh, you're going to blast if you need to open up a pathway. You're going to blast any of the monsters there, and then we're going to run across to the red door. 
There's two zombie men here and two imps. We're just going to... You're going to try to slide past them any way possible. If you get hemmed up here by the imps, then shoot. As required. Uh, this plus 75 health can get you back immediately to 100%, which is great. Here, you'll slide to the left, hit the switch, and go on through. Um, I hate going down this staircase because it's it's really easy to bump your head here and lose all your speed um there's like two different ways that you can try to mitigate that to an extent is either by doing this like double kind of bump strategy up here where you just aim for this wall aim for that and then try to get down as quick as you can or you like slide through there but it, it's very hard to keep your speed. Once we get into the exit room, here's some optional health to the left if you need it. Um, there'll be five zombie men and two imps. There'll be one imp at the top of the elevator and one imp at the bottom. And the imp can either go on the elevator or it's gonna turn and come towards you. If it comes towards you, that is the fast strategy where you save two or three seconds and you can just dodge past well you're likely taking out like two shotgunners and a single shotgun blast and then getting straight there and there's going to be an imp that's looking at you there and you're going to shoot them but if the imp goes in the elevator you need to get on a vantage point so that you can do some damage to the imps and try to get down to the uh, the exit as fast as you can which will be like right around here because in doom we kind of define it as a 2.5D game. There'll be some who will say, eh, it's kind of 3D, but I, I think 2.5D is like a good enough definition. In when I'm just shooting straight, the weapon can auto-aim upwards or it can auto-aim downwards because there's not really so much of a Z-axis. Okay, we get by nuclear plant. Toxin refinery is one of the most difficult levels in this entire run. Uh, E1M3, E1M5, E1M6, E1M7, and E1M8 can be really dangerous. Uh, so the way to manage this map is going to be dependent on how many shotgunners you want to kill. If you're just beginning to get into the ultimate doom run, it's it's hard to go like a moderate speed in doom without kind of killing yourself. Like you're either going full blast or you need to go slow and clear things. Cause if you're just going middle of the pace, uh, hit scanners are getting a long opportunity to just take pot shots at you and you're gonna get yourself into trouble soon we have some optional health here often i'll take it even in world record runs and a uh, shotgunner there there's going to be a shotgunner here i kill this one for the safety route but world record route i ignore them get in here gonna take a shot there'll be two shotgunners a bunch of imps in this hallway that you just go past Shot over here, shot over here. And how do you deal with the nukage ring? Um, you're just trying to go across. But if you do fall in, you are, uh, you can hit this switch and that's gonna raise the platform and you're still fine. You're not gonna automatically die. But if you fall along the edges of the ring over here where it says poison, that's an inescapable pit. You won't be able to get out. You're gonna take 20% damage every few uh ticks yes eh, what is it it's probably like 20 percent damage a second but you can't get out so you're gonna die um if you have a lot of enemies around here usually it's just like a zombie man or a shotgunner so you can take a shot as you're getting across but uh you're capable of taking that angle so you can jump over the pit but it's a bit dangerous because if you screw it up you're dead 
but we're going to be aiming to get through this cubby hole. Then you have a pinky and two shotgunners. And uh, when you're getting by pinkies, you want to, you have to commit to a direction. So you're either going to the very end and like bypassing them like this, or you're trying to bait them and then go back across. But if the pinky is in the very middle of this space, it's going to block you off on both directions. So I'll have to either kill the pinky or you need to back up slightly and then try to pass him again. Get the blue key. We're going to ignore the imps over there. Do whatever you can to get back through this hallway. Uh, if you have pinkies in your way coming back out, into the nukage ring, you can try and go over to the other side, but it's not like 100% certain that you won't just get blocked off again by a pinky, which is kind of damning and it sucks. Uh, this hallway can be a bitch because you'll get times where there's just like five to 10 imps. Because down here in the switch area, is this is all imps when you start the map and you're just kind of bypassing their path and you're ignoring them. And then um, as you backtrack and you come back, they can all just come up here and congregate into the hallway. So if you need to stay back and just keep shooting the imps, because if you, if you just run straight into the imps and there's a couple attacking you, you're going to die very fast. Do monsters hit hard? Especially in melee range, even imps. Um, I tend to ignore this health until I come back. But on the backtrack, I'll pick it up just like this and then keep going. You've got a secondary optional health here. So don't forget about that one. And your world record route is going to tend to just run by all the monsters here in this kind of pathway. Just like a quick SR-50. But if you want your uh, green armor, you can go over here and shoot these two shotgunners. But keep in mind that a green armor only mitigates one third of the damage that is coming in and gives you 100% armor. Whereas the blue armor is 200%, as you see in the bottom right of the screen, and mitigates 50%. So if my blue armor was at 80%, I would want to ignore this green armor because it's not going to do anything for me, but make me take more damage. A uh, couple shots here, and then you're going to open up the pathway and get as quickly as you can over the floor trigger. And once you get to the top, you want to... Um, there's like an order of operations. You want to destroy this barrel here first, because that's going to take out as many imps as you can that are in your way. Then you're going to push, have your back against the wall, and shoot this barrel. And it's because monsters can also blow up barrels. And if you're anywhere near that, you're going to take like 30 or 40 or 50 or 60 damage. And that can ruin your run right there. Then you're doing like a, a balancing the scale. Watching out for hit scanners that are coming up the staircase. And imps that are shooting down. So you need to kind of keep going back and forth as the staircase is coming up. Uh, probably shooting a couple of the shotgunners there first, but while dodging the projectiles at the top. Optional health here, plus 25. Optional health here, plus 10. End. Map 4 is quite straightforward. Going to open these, this door and this secret at the same time, and you're going to pick up this backpack. And this is an optional health, but um, it's going to save you like a quarter of the second. Uh, in the grand, grand majority of the time, just take the health. Going to just strafe, strafe, strafe. Until we get to this point and you're going to see a ledge on the far side and we'll be using a stray 50 to get there you can get across with a stray 40 but um because you only get plus 28 percent of your speed when you do a stray 40 
uh, it's gonna be more precise than it should versus a straight 50. Um, there's an IL strategy on this map. If you went over here, technically you can make this gap with a straight 50 jump. But it's the maximum distance plus like two units. So it's like technically a glitch to do a straight 50 um, over this gap. You're not going to get it 100% of the time. So um, we ignore this one in full episode one through four runs or else you're just going to lose um, you're going to lose so many attempts here it's just not going to be worth it and it's saving you a few seconds at max this uh, this used to be a swastika but it got changed <laughs> in a later doom patch just for some weird theory when you're doing this jump don't stand too close to the wall. Doom guy is 32 by 32 units. He's kind of fat. So if you're trying to do an angle like here, you'll never make it. You want to go more towards the middle of the room. Look towards the corner. When you're there. Then you're going to go back a slight bit. And then do your SR50 left. And you should make it. Let's try and do that a few times in a row. SR... Oops. Um, if that happens where my character, like, quickly turns to the left, it's just because I haven't input all of the commands at the same time. And you need to watch out for that with SR50, because you're pressing four inputs at once. There we go. Uh, the secret exit from map three, that's only going to be useful if you're doing a UV max run. Or you're forced to do secret levels, but for a UV speed run, we can ignore that. Uh, we get our yellow key. Here's an optional health, optional green armor if you need it. Then once you get to here, um, in an actual run when you have monsters on the map, this door, you might be spamming like spacebar on it, and it's not opening. And it's because the developers screwed up with this door and they tagged it wrong. There's a tag three on the door. And that, uh, it kind of like connects it with a lift that is elsewhere on the level. And if the lift is activated at any time, this door will just stay closed. But if you do this map optimally in like 17 or 18 seconds, you should never see that. But if you're a bit slow, you might get caught with the door uh, just not budging on you. But we open the door. We're going to press the switch because that's going to raise that. And we're going to go straight to the end. Grab this health. Hey, Phobos Lab. E1M5 is another uh, run killer. So you're just going to run by the monsters here. And you're going to have a specter in this hallway. But when we're starting up this map, it's a pacifist section that we're going to be doing. So you don't want to shoot if you can help it. Because if you do shoot, there's a shotgunner here and a specter here, and they're going to wake up, and they're going to also get in the hallway. And that's going to make things harder for you. But we start, we're going to go pacifist into this hallway, and then you want to hug the right wall, because the specter is going to hopefully also kind of hug the right wall, and then we're going to slam by him on the left. Uh, you shoot the one shotgunner that's in front of you. You're going to hit the trigger, which raises this bridge. And then uh, try to deal with the congregation of enemies that just kind of line up all around here. Uh, you can start shooting after you hit this trigger if you have a specter that just has its butt in your face. We're going to get here. Uh, enemies are going to be coming in this direction, so your dodge path is going to be here. And you have one optional health, plus 25. Don't have to get it. But it can be useful. So, um, kind of the angle of course you'll see me taking is like around here, and then I'll have to shoot like one enemy. Uh, shotgunner here, take out this imp, and then try to line up the two shotgunners to take them both out here. 
I'm gonna strafe. Hit the yellow key, get your plus 25. And then as you're kind of strafing back out, you want to do like a small turn. Shoot this barrel as you go into the nukage to hit this secret. You can see this differentially colored wall. So these ones are more green and this one's brownish. And we push in here and we get our second blue armor after E1M1 and our rocket launcher, which is great. Plus 50 health. So I, I would call this like a reset point. You should be at 100% health, 200% armor. And then we're going to push over here, open the door, watch out for shotgunners on the way. Uh, gonna ignore the monsters here, and we're going to ignore the monsters here. We're just gonna strafe here. In the safety route, you can destroy this barrel to take out a bunch of the guys. And then you're gonna take your rocket launcher. As you open the door, there's gonna be two pinkies on the staircase, and you can fire your rocket once. But keep in mind, there's a one in eight chance that a pinky will not die from a rocket, a single rocket. So you want to change to your shotgun, weapon three right away, just in case. But once one of the pinkies dies, it'll be uh, a lot more consistent to get down. The world record strat, we attempt to just strafe by both of the pinkies but oftentimes um the second pinky is just going to get in your way and you'll have to reset but there's a nice advantage for the world record strat which is um because you haven't shot a rocket and you're just trying to strafe through we're still playing pacifist because this is a closed off sector so none of the enemies have heard you shoot yet and you can do this by just constantly running. There will be a pinky in your way here, and you dodge around. Dodge around, you'll hit your switch. And this pinky here, right in this area, will not have woken up. And you can just slide by him so that you can get to this section. Now, let's assume the safety strats, you've waken everything up. The pinky on the right will be mad and try to chase you down. So you can shoot this pinky once and then blow up this barrel. So with this pinky dead and this barrel, you'll go and you'll hit the same switch, but that's gonna open up this section and it'll allow you to get to the lift. Because just trust me, if this barrel is up and you're just trying to run by here, there's a ton of monsters that come out of this monster closet because it gets triggered um, somewhere over here. And there'll be monsters that are flowing in from this side and monsters that are flowing in from this side. And this barrel here is going to get you stuck and likely get you killed. Uh, one optional health here. And an optional soul sphere if you need it. But if you grab the soul sphere, you can get a, a enemies that are coming in and they're just going to completely block off your path. You might have to sit there for 5 or 10 seconds and just kill them. Or, 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 or you can fire a rocket or two from outside the window and try to hit some of them. But be careful of how many rockets you use, because you do want to have them saved for, your, for the boss map. Okay, we get up here, you're going to take your rocket launcher, but you have 25 health, and then you have another 25 if you need it. You can get the partial invisibility, but it's not necessary. So as you come up, be lots, lots of monsters as you open the door. You're going to fire one rocket, and then you're going to push out into here. The optimal setup is having a pinky on one of these sides, and then you have 
uh, two hit scanners that are just, they're completely wedged in. It's just like a puzzle piece. And then you'll choose the side with the hit scanners, and with one shotgun blast, it should kill them both. And if you're quick enough, you can slide around the pinky, saving a lot of time, just not having to kill the pinky. Because pinkies take between two and three shotgun shots to kill. Your bad luck variation, there will be a second pinky at the top of these stairs, and that's where you just start swearing and saying how this game is so unfair. But uh, after you've cleared the way, just run through here. You're going to take a shot here. Be a shotgunner and the zombie men. Take them both out as you slide and get around all the pinkies. This part, it'll take a little bit of practice. But if you do it right, none of the pinkies should be blocking your access to... Um, this switch but you're gonna go around them in this direction but uh in like a fast strafe so try not to be too slow you want extra safety here and you're going slow plus 35 health and you get a chain gun okay Get in here, there will be a shotgunner on your right. That's the only one blocking your path of egress. You can shoot him, and you can do a wall run off here. Now keep in mind that in wall runs, you can only do them north or east. And that's because in the Doom code, somewhere in there, it says... If the X value or the Y value is above 15 units of speed, it like splits it by two. But it doesn't include negative values, so that doesn't function south or west. And the code gets, like, screwed up. Or, or something is screwed up with the code. And um, as it's splitting your units, splitting the units, you go twice as fast. It just, like, messes up on you. So on a north or east wall, you can wall run for a bit of extra speed. Be a bunch of imps and enemies here. It can be really scary to go fast. But if you do the right dodging, you can uh, slide past all of them without having to kill more than, say, one or two enemies. You need to quickly be at the rocket launcher, but try not to take it out too, too early. In case an imp comes and blocks your path. But you'll have your rocket launcher here to fire three rockets. Don't stand too close or you're going to blast yourself. I'm really good at that. <laughs> so one, two, three. Grab your blue key. We've got some optional health here that we can grab. And assuming the specter isn't going down the stairs, that's your bad luck scenario. You're going to be hearing this over and over in the Doom run. Um, no two runs are the same, and you're going to just, you gotta deal with it sometimes, and know how to, um, hang with it on the fly. Your good luck, the specter will come in this direction, and you can slide past him, if you allow him to come out enough. If he goes down the stairs, you have to kill him. You'll have a second specter here, but, um... Pretty much in 99% of runs, I don't have to kill this specter, or even really have to deal with him, because he's not uh, awake as you come down the stairs. You've got the two healths, and then um, you want to back up a little bit from the door as you're opening it, not just for speed, but because if the specter is trying to bite your ass, uh, you can move a little bit forwards. Because um, Spectres and Pinkies only do damage at like the very end of their bite animation. So as they start their bite, well, let's say the Spectre has started its bite. I move forward a bit, it's going to miss me. Get into the dark room, we're just going to slide across. And you're going to kill the two shotgunners here. In a world record strat, if you've taken a shot and one of the shotgunners has still survived... Assuming you have decent health and everything, things change in Doom. 
but you can leave one of the shotgunners alive. Open this up, and you're going to shoot this barrel. Stay on this side, because we don't want to activate a specter on our left. And then we're going to push in with the rocket launcher, go as quick as you can, back up, because we have three pinkies in this room. You're going to fire one rocket, and then change to your shotgun. Alternate kind of safety strat, you can fire two rockets. And there has been discussion if we should just use two rockets in this place. So um, the conversation isn't over yet on how we're using our rockets within episode one. So do testing. With the one pinky dead, there's going to be two more. If you're lucky... You can slide past in one of the directions, or you can even go through the middle. But uh, let's say it's like a one-third chance that they're going to let you straight to the exit, and the other two-thirds of the time, you're going to have to kill a pinky with the shotgun, which sucks. And that's why we have this discussion on if we should shoot two rockets. Oh god, you're finally done the hardest map in episode one. Then we get central processing, E1M6. Uh, optional, optional health. So we have 30 health at the start and a really big pit or a big pool of health in here if you want to. There'll be a bunch of imps, but they'll all die if you shoot one of the barrels. So plus 75 and one green armor. So at the start of this map, we want to take out this shotgunner, this imp, and there will be another shotgunner here. And in this room, there's two shotgunners approximately in the placement of the two 1% health um, vials that you see here. Just like a little bit further back in their placement. So you're going to kill the one on the right. Now, if you go too far into this room, that's going to hit a trigger, which is going to lower this wall. Um, it is set with a specific trigger that closes the door for 30 seconds, and there is nothing you can do to stop this. Except by one method, which is by getting an enemy wedged in between here as it's coming down, and then your lowering wall will pop back up, and you don't have to wait 30 seconds. So with your second shotgunner, you want to stay a little ways back, because if you're really close to the shotgun guy, he's going to do more damage to you. So uh, it's a balancing act, so you don't just get yourself killed. But when the shotgunner is right under here, it's just going to take you practice to figure out uh, the exact placement. Is when you're going to run as quickly as you can, or strafe by this trigger without killing the shotgunner, of course. Don't kill him. If you kill him, you gotta reset the map. Well, or you can wait 30 seconds. It's it's up to you. But 30 seconds, that's a big time loss. But you've got him here. Run as fast as you can. Then we're gonna get the red key. We're gonna get this. If you need chain gun ammo, you can grab it. But I've found um, if you're using it properly, you should never run out. So you can save a bit of time and just get the chain gun instead of both of these. It's just like a few frames saved. Shoot! It closed on me. I'm just going to clip through. We're going to ignore that. Run over to here into the red door. We've got some hit scanners. Uh, slower strat is to kill them. Fast strat is to kind of run by in this direction. Optional health if you need it. And there's tons of optional health in this section if you know how to get it. You really need the safety. So you can get your rad suit. And if you go to the end of here, there's a nice little soul sphere that can help you. And as we're coming back here, we got a plus 25 and our third mag armor. To do, get all 10 of these rockets. Do not forget the rockets. 
hop in here, you're going to take out your rocket launcher and watch out for the stupid little light posts because they have a massive hitbox. And if you're anywhere near them, they just shove you over. And I hate them. I hate their very essence. They're no fun to deal with. Hey, what's up, Looper? So you're going to take a wide turn around here. You're going to fire one rocket to kill the three imps that are on top of this platform. You're going to fire one rocket over here to kill some of the imps. And you want to hit the trigger here and then fire three more rockets. One, two, three. It's going to kill all the pinkies in this room. We're going to open up this secret. And then we can get all of these. And if there's still imps alive, you can shoot them from down here. Because there's this cool kind of new... There's a cool new strategy that we're using for um, some imps that you're going to come across in just a few seconds here. Because if you take a shot and you're in this room, after you've opened this trigger, there's going to be another secret section that opens where I'm shooting. And now, since it has opened, it's like an open sector to the area. So if I shoot, you're going to wake up the monsters and they're going to start coming out. Grab your yellow key. You want to get this backpack too for another rocket. So uh, let's kind of redo like how that's going to look. So you come and you're going to shoot. Grab both of these. Pop into the trigger. And then come back. And then point yourself sideways. Because as you're going down. Because of how your collision box sort of works. Is this can let you just get straight down without hitting the roof. But if you're going kind of quickly and you're going forward, you see that head bump? You want to try to negate that. Save yourself half a second. Get out, grab your rad suit, and I'm going to assume that we have not uh, taken any shots. There's going to be one, two, three, four, five imps. Now, if you have some smooth movement as you're coming in here and you're quick on it, you're going to shoot this imp, slide past, and you'll shoot one more up here. And you can do this very quickly. But if your movement isn't on point and you're not confident with this, just take out the imps. You're going to lose a few seconds, but you're not going to get all scratched up. Move on through. You're going to get plus 50 health. And you get plus 10 rockets, plus one from the backpack. Open this door. And you'll have eight shotgunners, but you pick up a partial invisibility um, early on E1M6. I'm gonna get the soul sphere. Sensors, like a uh, lack of a Z axis, is we can open this door. Like if you just press spacebar here, it's gonna open, even though it's way higher than you. I'm gonna shoot a bunch of times, kill whatever's in your way gonna come back down as you're coming here there's gonna be a pinky in front of you so you can use this as blocking the you know like occlusion between you and the pinky so make sure you take this at a tight angle and you're going like here instead of like a wide turn and around so we'll have a rocket launcher out so do your yeah your tight strafe run, and then you're going to fire one, two, three, keep on going, and there will be one pinky on your left side, and you're going to shoot one rocket at him, followed by taking out your chain gun, finishing anything off in this corridor, and then you'll take out your rocket launcher again, and there will be one pinky, two pinky, three pinky, so come into the room and you have to do this quickly as if you're doing like a chord on a guitar or a chord on the piano you're gonna fire one shot two shot three shot and take out your chain gun so that you can kill this shotgunner here if you're not having much luck with the rocket launcher strategy because there's this room is one of the most dense areas in the whole game there's just like 20 or 
20 to 25 guys in this room with specters, shotgunners, zombie men, imps, just everywhere. Once you open this switch, we can just run. Kill specters using the chain gun until you get through here. You're going to be taking some damage. Your quicker strategy, rocket launcher, try to open yourself some space. There's going to be guys on your right. There's going to be guys on your left. So like when you come into this room, like everything has to be quick. It's going to be one pinky, two pinky, three pinky. Take out your chain gun, take him out, hit the switch, come out. One, two, three. Get to the end. A computer station will be starting off going on a path to the left. Kill a shotgunner, gonna take a shot here. Take out an imp, take out an imp, take out a shotgunner. Yes, 840, new world record. You're taking shots, but the two shotgunners in this room with the yellow key, they don't wake up until they see you. Yeah, doom sound can be confusing. There's going to be monsters that are, like, woken up, and then some that aren't. Just based on sectors, based on if the monsters have, like, a death, death tag, D-E-A-F. So you'll come in here and slide, and you can kill them both with one shotgun as you pick up the yellow key. Um, lack of a Z-axis problem again. You come out here, and your character just stops. Doom guy just stops. What the hell? What do I do? It's because a monster is hanging out below and blocking you. But it's a little bit unfair, because the monsters can still hit you if it's an imp. Or a pinky. Or a baron of hell, or a caco demon. So you need to be careful. You need to be prepared to move to your left and drop down here, or drop down here. I'm gonna open this. Take out a shotgunner, take out a shotgunner, and you're gonna run, take out your chain gun, start shooting. You're gonna run and run and run. You have an optional 25 health here. You're gonna open this, aim towards that barrel, that should blow up pretty much everything in the vicinity, and open up uh, a pretty free route. Your rocket count at this portion. In a world record route, it should be 13. If you're using the safety route and you used a rocket on E1M5, if you remember the elevator with the two pinkies, you'll be at 12 rockets. If you use two rockets in the final section at E1M5 at the exit, you'd be at 11 rockets. So what I want to be at after here is I want to have 10 rockets remaining. So if you have... Um, if you're at 13, you're going to shoot a rocket to kill this pinky. As the elevator comes down, you should have enough time to shoot a rocket here at the three imps in front of the blue area, and that's going to save your time later. So let's assume 13 rocket strat. It's going to be one shot, one shot, take out your chain gun, try to blow up the barrels as you go up the elevator. That's going to activate two pinkies in this hallway, and you're going to dodge around them. Let's assume we have 12 rockets now. You're going to do one shot. You're also going to take one shot here. If you had 11 rockets, one shot at the pinky, ignore the imps. Just shoot them, try to kill one with a shotgun. Okay, I'm going to dodge the pinkies as best as I can over here. But you're going to have the chain gun out, not the shotgun. Shoot whatever hit scanners as you pick up the red key. Get back as fast as you can. If this elevator is down, a pinky might be blocking your route on the downside, so you need to be prepared to either move fast to the left or to the right. If it's just blocking you off and you're not sure where to go. Okay. Run as fast as we can. 
Kill in whatever hit scanner's in the way. If we have 13 rockets, you can do this two ways. You can have 11 rockets for one extra on E1M8, or you can fire a rocket into uh, this room here. Oh, and if you screw up and you fall off this platform, uh, you get it back down by going on this trigger here. But, uh, so let's say 13 rockets were coming in, and we shoot this one. Uh, you see how this, the platform doesn't trigger from every kind of side? Like, it, it's a bit confusing. Yeah, I'm gonna bring this back down. But you might be going on here and being, like, confused, like, it's not going up, but I'm on the platform. Uh, so as you come in here and you shoot your rocket, go on this side. That'll ensure you trigger it, and you're gonna strafe run off into the nuke area. If, let's assume you have zero rockets here, and you're like, shoot, I need rockets for E1M8, I'm still practicing episode one. Here's an optional area where you can pick up another five, and there's 50 health. Other potential for health. Um, back here's a blue armor you can pick up. Optional. And then you have a soul sphere. Let's assume we were at 11 rockets, and we didn't get the opportunity to shoot a rocket down here into the blue key imps. Uh, you're gonna have to try to probably get them out of the way as you pick up the blue key. I'm gonna come back around with your blue key. Uh, you can pick this up on your way. And then get down. May or may not be enemies in your way here. Have your chain gun out. Shoot all the way to the blue door. Shoot the hit scanners. And there'll be like, uh... There'll be zombie men all the way until the switch you're trying to get to. So... You'll be taking them out as you run and try to strafe. But it'll be difficult because you're taking a lot of shots. So, kind of like shooting through. Lots of enemies that hang out in this area. It's going to be imps plus zombie men. And imps are... They're tankier. Zombie men, 20 health. Shotgunner, 30 health. Imp, 60 health. And pinky, 150 health. We're going to be shooting in here. Hit our switch. If you are at high health, and I'm going to put this as if you have 100% health and 100% armor, if you have more than that, you're probably fine doing the aggressive strat where you just run into here and you chain gun down whatever's in your way and you go quickly to the exit. But if you're at low health, let's say you're at 50-50, you're going to have to hang back, clear out, and clear slowly. Because if you run into the shotgunners, you're going to get yourself killed. Then, there's 25 health here. Stay away from the windows if you can, because there's shotgunners that hang out on the outside of this map, and they can uh, shoot you. But if they're right by the walls, then by kind of staying in the center, they're not going to hit you. Do the exit. Hey, final map, Phobos Anomaly. We're going to open this. If we want to do safe strats, we can... Uh, there's like 15 or so pinkies that are in this area with all the barrels. Um, we can kill them. That's going to take a little bit of time. Or uh, I'm just going to ID Clev back to E1M8. Do this. If you're just hanging out in this corner and you're waiting for that to lower down, if we run and we strafe through this section, if we go really quickly, it's a high, high chance that we can, we don't have to do anything to the pinkies and we can just skip out on it. Um, if you get really bad luck and a pinky comes straight out here, you're going to have to kill him. So have the chain gun prepared in case of this popping up. There is a safety strat here. So you open that as you go to the door. You're going to slam in for your soul sphere and keep going. But that's going to lose you maybe a second. Line up your SR-50. 
We got 25 health and we got our green armor. Line up your SR50 so that you're hitting the wall run. So I'll show you this like without wall run. So normal speed versus with wall, wall run. We're going twice as fast. And again, looking at the minimap, this is a north wall run. So bam. Hit the switch and you're gonna have your rockets out. Safety strats, you can kill everything in this room. A few ways to go about it, because you're gonna have specters in here. But if you use a port like Crispy Doom, these specters are quite hard to see. They're very dark and it's gonna disorient you. They camouflage like way better than you would expect. But you can run to these barrels to get all the specters that come in here and you, you might think they can get around on this side, but they can't. Their, uh, their collision box is way too big. But they're all gonna come in this area, they're gonna group up, and then you can shoot the barrels and kind of take them all out. Okay, so let's go back down here. Now let's assume fast strats, where we're using a rocket launcher. We're gonna come up, and it's gonna be three rockets to the left. You're going to move up a bit so that you can trigger the doors to open, because if you just stay back here on the elevator, uh, the doors don't open right away, so you need to move up. You're going to fire three rockets. One, two, three. But as you're doing that, you're just going to use uh, right strafe inputs. For me, that's D. So I'm going to be doing one and very slowly strafing around. So three to the left, and it's going to be four to the right. So, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. So three, four, you're gonna wrap around as you do that. You're going to ignore the fifth rocket, unless the Baron is very far away. But I, I, like I usually count as I get to the eighth rocket, is these specters all in this area, they're starting to uh, converge on you. So three, four, we're gonna slide on through into this area. And what we want is the two barons to be like in front of us, just above. And then you're going to shoot while you're dodging and try not to die to the specters behind you. Easier said than done. Once the two barons of hell die, this star is going to lower on you. So it's all going to lower. And if we have specters in the way, um, take them out as fast as you can with the chain gun. But we want to really quickly get up to right about here. Right about here. We're going to angle ourselves off so that we can see just a little portion of this wall. Kind of angle ourselves like that. And we're using the star as a staircase as it's coming down. And we want to use it as like a step up so that we can be a little bit higher when we're doing our gap jump. So it comes down and then you're going to do a stray 50. And that should take it so you land on here. That's what we want, because that's going to save you a lot of time. Look how long this takes. You get the staircase, and I just get to hang out. I can have a fucking coffee or a fucking es espresso by the time this is done. Uh, we wait, we get the staircase to go all the way to the top, and then Doom Guy is going to die. Unfortunately. If you have extra rockets before you hit the teleporter... Um... Now is the time to take out your rocket launcher, and once you get into the teleporter, just start shooting your rocket launcher. Because we want to get ourselves to as low of health as possible. Because in the next room, the ground, or the flat, is tagged. So that when we get to below... I think it's 10... It's like 10 or 20% health is we finish the level and we win. So optimally, world record strat, 
just before you get there. Below 11? Okay, okay. That's likely right. I... 10, 20... Okay, 11. <laughs> I couldn't remember the values. But after we're finishing off the barons and we're getting here, we want to be at low health. If we're at like 25 or if we're at 10 or whatever, that's perfect. But this is, it's a pretty dangerous strat when you're firing the rockets and you're going through here is try not to tempt fate too much because that's, it's going to get you killed more often than not. Set yourself up here and then you got the straight 50 and we run to die. Yeah. So there we go. We have no enemies here, but the sector is doing 20% damage to us. So it's going to make sure that we die in quotation marks.